Korea Tourism Organization India launches a special K incentive scheme to reward Indian travel agent. We have a uh, MICE incentive scheme. It is basically the number of packs we're going to support some uh, monetary support. Uh, but India is a very important market, so I asked to um, HQ to the upgrade that uh, my scheme. So in, I think just the Indian corporate can have enough support from KTO. Through that uh, special K um, travel package, we're going to choose 10 travel agencies. Um, that travel agency can get a uh, hassle-free visa. Korea is, uh, has great potential. Um, it's supposed to be one of the untapped markets in India. Korea is actually, surprisingly, there is a lot of buzz in the market, you know, about Korea. They're promoting the destination also quite well. There's a lot of enigma about South Korea. Uh, it's not well visited. So I think at some level, it's also one of those exotic destinations, uh, which is uh, not many people have ventured into. Korea has many other interesting uh, icons, like for example, they have the demilitarized zone which is the border between North and South Korea, which is interesting and fascinating because it is the most heavily guarded area. According to IATA's report, airline industry net profits are expected to reach $9.8 billion in 2023, which is more than double the previous forecast. Every show I have attended, there has been always a trend of its return. It's a very intimate group of people who come in. ATO AI to organize a series of events with regional tourism offices this year. We have now five chapters which are aligned with the regional de uh, department of tourism offices in the country. We are rolling out a two nights, three days event in all these centers and not only that but even few more down south like in the source markets of Bangalore and Chennai and Pune and Hyderabad. Uh, so all put together we should be doing around eight to nine events this year. These events will be for three days where the first two days we'll be conducting a wilderness uh, wilderness first aid responder and a cpr course which is a 16 hours certified course that ATI will be doing uh, in association with department of uh, ministry of tourism and uh, the state tourism wherever we are going then after the two days the third day pre-lunch will involve a couple of sessions based on risk management and best adventure travel practices and post the lunch we'll have a b2b travel bar <music>